What's going on, everybody? King Anderson here. And I want to talk to you all about something that's real serious to me and probably others. Now, back in my day, if I was fighting or if I did something that was wrong, guess what? My neighbor or some of my friends' parents would tell either my mother or my father or somebody that was in my family that knew that they would tell my mother and my father. And guess what? Yeah, I would get in trouble about it. Maybe a whooping, depend on the seriousness. And guess what? After that next day, they talk to me, and I'm good. See, nowadays, you got kids that's at the age of 10, 11, even younger, out here dying over what? Oh, because somebody said something wrong to you, because somebody did something that really wasn't even that serious. I'm tired of the fact of going on Facebook and seeing at least three or four fights and it's about some dude or it's about respect or it's about some turf or it's about something just so ignorant. This whole Twitter beefing, this whole Facebook beefing over what? Oh, yeah, just because a dude didn't want you, he wanted somebody else. So, hey, you going to each other going to fight? But guess what? While you two fools is fighting, he's probably doing someone else. Wake up. And then this is the best part of the whole situation. When you sitting up here and you see a fight and you running and you running just to get to that fight, just to say two words world star and then guess what you go on world star and bam it's on there now don't get me wrong i i love going to the world star app and going you know when i'm on my computer looking at it why because i'm a music head and i love to see who's out who's fresh and what new single or whatever is coming out yeah, and I'm not going to lie. I've seen a couple fights here and there. But this is my thing. What is this all measuring up to be? Nothing. Because when it boils down to it, I'm seeing so many teenagers that's at the age of 12 and up dying over nothing. I'm seeing teenagers carrying guns like how a kid carry their lunchbox or how a kid carries their toys. They're carrying guns around like it's something to do, like it's a fad. Because, see, back in my day, my fad was beepers, cell phones, hats, snapbacks, and all that good stuff. The fresh clothes, Jordans, and hell. They're killing each other over them still. I just don't understand America. I love America to the fullest. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. Born and raised. We got so much promising type of stuff going on right now. The DNC is coming to Cleveland. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame booming. They're building Cleveland up to be like a New York state of mind. You know what I'm saying? But when you get to the nitty gritty. And you really get deep in these cities and these states. You see these kids fighting, dying, going through the motion over what? Nothing. And then you got grown-ups doing the same thing. Now see, back in my day. And this is just me being real. And to everybody that's going to watch this, if you're around the ages of 33 to about what? 33, 25, you know what I'm talking about. Because we fought not for no, not for no world star. We didn't fight to get notarized. 
we fought because if somebody had if someone had a beef with us, it was a beef. And guess what we did? We used these. We fought. We didn't pull out no gun to shoot. For what? Because see, back in my day, that was a coward move to shoot someone just because someone said something, someone did something. Back in my day, we fought. Back in my we my day is the last generation to where we actually picked our fists up, squares them, and start fighting. Nowadays, kids may fight, yeah, but just to get that notoriety, yeah, they have beefs, but they fight just so one kid out of that whole big audience can run up and say, well, I'm sorry, and so they can get fame and say they can act like they tough. And be like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did this. And people know her or him and the whole nine. For what? I ain't trying to be funny. But if I'm on the internet like I am right now, I want to be notarized about the fact that I'm bringing something positive to everybody. I want to be notarized for the fact that I'm sitting up here saying to people, like, grow up, shooting fighting just to get some type of credit to say, hey, look, let's go on world star. Hey, look, here I go. I'm beating up this chick or I'm beating up this dude. Nah, back in my day, we ain't had to prove to nobody that we hard just so people can see that on world star or Facebook or whatever site and just to say, hey, man, I'm hard because you see me. Nah. Back in my day, we were hard because people, yes, they seen it, but people knew it. They didn't have to go on the computer or on their phone just to see that you are a hard individual or that you're an individual that knows how to fight. Everybody need to grow up, man. It's a time and a place. And these whole guns, watch your What's 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 going what's going happen? Oh, I know what's gonna happen. You are gonna shoot somebody. You gonna act like you tough. You gonna act like you six million feet tall. Like can't nobody touch you. But then guess what? When the boys come and they touch you, and then you in jail for X amount of years. And then you sitting up here talking about, man, they ask you what you do. Man, I shot somebody. Now you spending 25 to life because you killed an innocent person or you killed somebody over a beef that if you would have threw them hands, you would have been good to go and you wouldn't have to worry about this crap. You would still be walking your street. People would still see you. But because you being ignorant, because you being that type of want to be hard person, you want to pick that gun up, shoot that man instead of fighting that man, and now look at you, 25 to life for what? For what? Come on, man. World star? Me, yeah, I love it. For the music. But all this fighting is worthless. Grow up. I had to. But see, the difference with my generation, the difference with me, I use these. And either I won or I lost. If I took that L, I took it. If I won, hey, I won. But I didn't decide to sit up here and pick a gun up and say, you know what? You beat me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang. I want everybody. When they see this video, I want everybody to sit back and think about the loved ones that affected their life, who died over getting shot because it wasn't really their fault. It was because someone was ignorant enough to shoot a gun and it hit that person. 
And then I want the ones to sit back and think about the ones that do see this, the family members that's in jail for the X amount of years because if they would have sat back, if they would have thought about it, they wouldn't be in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I have to say. That's really all that's been on my mind for a while. No more fighting, man. No more shooting. For what? I can't even walk out of my house and say that I'm going to make it to the next day because I don't know if I'm going to make it to the next day. I pray to God. When I pray to God, I ask him to make sure when I walk out this door that I can be able to walk back in it and not on a pamphlet. Not on a little booklet with my little face, with my face and with words saying Richard Anderson born 1981 died 2012 no one can promise you tomorrow but if we actually fight we have a lot of people to see tomorrow it's your boy King Anderson 